All right, so what we have uh, so far is we've imported our word list. We've imported the words, and this is just all one big string. And so we used this set word list to the split of the imported words by line. Uh, and what a split does is it, it splits this big string up and each line becomes an item in a new list, and we save that to word list. So now we have a new variable called word list. Uh, so I'm going to hide the imported words. And we just have here an actual list. Um, so you can see the first item in the list is aardvark. Um, the fifth item is abacus. Uh, and there are lots, lots of words in here. So this is what we're going to use to pick our secret word. So if I click Say, the Say block will pick one random item from this word list, uh, and it'll say it for two seconds. Okay, so monorail. Um, all right, so instead of saying it, we want to actually store that somewhere. So we want a new variable. Uh, no, we want a new variable, make a variable, and we'll call this secret word, and um, I will make it for all sprites. Sure. So the secret word is going to be set using this block here. So I need a It is set secret word to one random item from word list. So if I click this button, watch right here, it should go from zero to one of these random words. So there you go. Instead of saying it, we've now assigned it to um, this variable called secret word. So now anytime I say, uh, secret word until I reassign secret word it should say uh, recurring so there so we've stored it and um, now we're ready to use that for the duration of one playthrough of the game <clears throat> um, so let's take a look at the assignment real quick Let's just look at this checklist. So computer randomly chooses a secret word. So we've got that. Host repeatedly asks for a letter and announces whether, whether that letter is in the secret word. Uh, okay, so to accomplish this, we're going to need a um, ask. And we're going to need to use the answer. And again, the ask is going to pull up this text field here where we can enter in hello or whatever. Uh, and when we hit enter, inside of the same script, whatever we enter here will go inside of this answer block. Uh, so for example, if we do this, take that out, put this in there, um, and we say, uh, jump and I hit enter jump so the sprite says jump it says whatever is in this answer and that answer is filled by what we've typed in to this block right here to this text field uh, and so we're going to expect the user to be typing in single letters and all lowercase so we need a way to ask or detect if the letter, if for example, the letter was A, is the letter A in our secret word recurring? So the letter A is not in there. So we would expect this to be um, wrong. And so it would draw one more part of the hangman. Um, so how do we decide if A is part of the secret word? So um, let's see in our operators. Did 
nothing in there. Um, so what I'm going to do is use this contains predicate block. But this works with lists. So we need to make a list of letters out of our seeker word. So to do that, I'm going to make a new, oh, I keep clicking that plus sign. So I need to make a new variable. This will be secret word list. Right. Um, so the secret word list uh, will be set to secret word list will be set to the split of our secret word by letter by letter all right um, so I'm gonna click this and by clicking this block here it's gonna run this block which will give us a new secret word so it's gonna change from recurring to something else and then it will automatically make a list of all the letters in that secret word by running this block. Okay, so now I have opium, and this is my secret word list. Okay, so I can use this to decide if I, this word list, or this letter list, really contains the letter that is typed in here. All right, so... Um, secret word list. All right, let's do uh, if else here. If um, get that out of there, and we're gonna ask um, pick a letter. And we want to know if the secret word list contains this answer, the letter that the user picks. Uh, and if it does, then we will say correct for two seconds. And if it doesn't, we'll say incorrect. Or I would say the secret word does not contain. Uh, let's do this. Let's be a little bit fancier. Let's say join. The secret word does not contain the letter. And then we'll use answer again. All right, so, and that's a pretty long sentence, so let's make that four seconds. Um, okay, so we'll pick a letter. If that letter is inside opium, then it should say correct. If it's not inside the word opium, then it should say the secret word does not contain the letter, whatever, the, whatever we pick. Uh, so let's try this out. The host is asking us to pick a letter. I'll say O and hit enter. And the host says correct. Let's do it again. Um, let's use the letter Z. The secret word does not contain the letter Z. 